Welcome back to Elden Ring. Before we continue exploring down past the giant's grave post, I want to check some of the other things that I might have missed in this area, because it looks like we're going the critical path, right? This points to this, this points to this, this points to this, and there. So, like, I didn't turn left here. I went right. What's to the left? It's probably just a dead end, but let's go check it out. Okay, I gotta get off this horse. I need to be able to dodge. Me humans are always big mad. Ooh, these ones are stronger. Quite a bit stronger than Oh yeah, they have um interesting like variations on their wings. They have like Little spots that almost look like, um, the kind of things you see on butterfly wings. Yeah, look at those. What is going on up there? Sounds like someone just used a laser beam of their own up there. still fighting up there. Spirit Spring. There is a way up there. Ooh. Shack of the Lofty. 
Traveling maiden, hood, robe, gloves, and boots. Hmm. Hood worn by traveling maidens. Maidens traverse the lands between for different reasons. Some to seek audience with the fingers. Others to find the tarnished, who they were destined to guide. Well, that it <laughs> looks very, very wrong. Oh, wow. I wonder if I could modify that, though, and just turn it into the circlet. Is the circlet different? I think it is. Different than my other circlet. Yeah, it is different. No, it has a lot of layers, which is nice. And a lot of pleats, but it's just kind of dirty. And it's not a dress, it's a robe. The gloves look pretty good. They look tight. Mm. Oh, here they are. Yeah, those are cute. Oh, wait, these are the ones I had on before. I think I was wearing the wrong ones. Hmm. Let's go with this again. The Errant Sorcerer Manchettes. And then... Traveling Maiden Boots. Pretty normal looking boots. Not really fancy or anything. Just average. Waving at the dog. Big old dog. Dead. Oh, right, we did see a merchant up here. Is someone there? A customer? Well, how long has it been? What have you got? Three stone sword keys, I'll take them all. Cookbook. This one does rejuvenating boluses, I'll take that. Three rune arcs, I'll take those. And they have the Vagabond set. I don't know if that's a starting class or not. It might be. Hmm. Well, not something I would wear. And the Greaves are not nearly as robust as the Crucible ones, so not a good replacement for that either. Yeah, that's just the ancient Snow Valley ruins we've already been to. What's the other way? It sounded like the fighting in the laser beam or whatever is happening was from over here. Is that... An 
enemy. Is that a minor Erd tree avatar? Wait, there's another one. Hmm. So this way, I think, is probably going to lead to the castle. So let's go this way instead. Yeah, just a whole lot of ruins here. And then up here, the bridge that goes to the minor Erd tree, and that loops back around to here, so it's just kind of a circle. Let's check out the ruins. Stargazer's Ruins. Oh, these are... Are these normal ones? Oh, yeah. These are normal ones. I died in one hit. Try summoning. <laughs> Don't you dare attack. I'm not gonna. Where did you go? <gasps> oh, I know exactly what this is. This is. I didn't realize this was like an actual thing you could do. I thought it was just a bit of flavor text. That's the summoning. I probably... Yeah, I don't have it on me. Um, do you think there's... There's gotta be... Um, a side of grace somewhere nearby. I need a side of grace so I can access my chest and get the right one out. That was a strong one. Okay, there doesn't seem to be one in the ruins. Well, actually, it could be down below. Where did you go? Don't mind me. You promise me when we turn 40. Wait, what is that? Held shut by a seal. Oh, that probably opens when we reunite them. I see a sight of grace over that way. I don't. So let's try going this way. Up and across the bridge. Staring at the earth tree.
a small castle over here. Quite close to where we've already been. Like we're about to go there once we start going the critical path again. Oh, this earth tree, this minor earth tree is dead. I guess it is on the map as well, huh? What's that? Oh. Oh, hey. They froze pretty easily. Oh. Okay. Is that just a visual thing, or is that... Oh, it is just a visual thing. Or at least it died when the original died. It wasn't, like, literally a copy. Cerulean Crystal Tear and Crimson Bubble Tear. Hmm. Raise the tree. Precious item ahead, try a high spot. That rock? Be wary of dog. Oh, it's at the end of that branch. Oh, what is that building over there? Lots of this. How do you get there? Oh, we've already walked. Wait. Ah, oh, right. We came this way. We went up here. Now we can go back and explore this raised area, which we have not done yet. What am I hearing? Oh, one of the giants. Ooh, there's the side of grace. It's 
Snow Valley Ruins Overlook. Okay, so yeah, we need to grab Spirit Jellyfish ash Ashes. Remember, the description for that was... Prone to tears, the jellyfish girl searches for her distant home, will bravely spew poison at foes on her summoner's behalf. It seems her name is Aurelia. A seal was broken somewhere. Oh, I got fancy spin. I think that's that little spin that I saw someone do in those weird dang sewers in the capital. <laughs> Doubt anyone remembers that but me, but. Yeah, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, reverential bow, forget that. No, don't do it. Forget it. Cute little spin. There you are. Oh! That's so cute! Ooh, look at my dress! Oh! Glintstone blade. Oh, that's a charm. They're not a charm. Um, talisman. Spells consume less FP, but maximum HP is reduced. Oh. Well, the effect on HP is pretty huge. It goes down... Well, I'm sure it's a percentage. Actually, not necessarily. It could be a set amount, I guess. But for me, it's going down by 240, about. Which is a lot, but, well, let me check the wiki. Oh, uh, well, an enemy has a, it is a laser beam. An enemy has appeared before I could do a proper, oh, they, they use my own trick against me. Yeah, enemy appeared before I could do a proper, like, transition there, uh, but yeah, I looked the Talisman up on the wiki, it reduces FP cost by 25% and reduces, reduces your max HP by 15%. So, I mean, that's a pretty good trade-off. Like, 25% less FP is big. I'm just not sure how much of a difference that's really going to make. I mean, it's almost irrelevant if you don't have a problem of running out of FP. I say almost because if things cost a lot of FP, you do have the problem of it taking time to um, drink a potion and stuff, so you would be able to do more damage faster. Not having to do that as much. Um, let's see. I died over there. I think I'll just go straight there from here instead of going around. Yeah, so... Uh, I don't feel I need to use it, but it definitely is good. I just... Yeah, I don't usually have a problem of running out of FP. Of course, it also means that I could change my potion ratio. Like, I don't run out of FP because I have enough FP potions, but if I didn't use as much FP, then I could have more health healing potions and have less FP potions. But then again, I don't usually have the trouble of running out of health potions either. So there might be some circumstance where that would be really good, but it isn't a problem most of the time. Hey, buddy! Oh! Ah! Fuck. Okay, you wanna laser beam me? I'm gonna laser beam you. Get back out here. I 
hate you. Actually, can I target you at all? I don't seem to be able to target it. No, I can't. I can't target it. Do I have to freehand melee you or something? Yeah. I'm just gonna go get my souls, because I had a lot of souls. Oh no. Oh, there's a- oh wow, there's a lot of them. Holy shit! What the hell are you supposed to do about this? Right in the spinal cord. Please don't laser me again. Please don't laser me again. Uh, it's gonna laser me, it's gonna laser me, it's gonna laser me. It can't reach that far, right? Shortly. Well, you're just looking at the ground, my dude. They're digging a tunnel. I think they're playing Minecraft. Um... I'm not really sure what to do here. I guess I'll... Eh? Guess I'll just go for it. Did that not even give me any potions back? Granted, I don't really need them, but... I went through a lot of health potions, and I don't think they gave me any back. Yeah, I think that one attack, Nebula, might be like the only way to take these things down in a at all a reasonable way. <laughs> all right, that kind of leads down to the castle. I hope they don't come back. I hope those are considered mini bosses. Yeah, these things are so suspicious. Like, they really look like the minor Erd tree avatars. But just frozen over or something. Mm -hmm. I need to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. I need to bait out the laser attack. Because you're safe from the laser attack if you're directly underneath them. How do I bait it out? Will they do it if I'm just at a good range? Is this really how you're supposed to fight them? Like, there's got to be a better way. Strong foe ahead. Suffering. Death ahead. Oh no. This place is hell. And I guess this proves that hell really has frozen over? How much do you like to move? Could I laser beam? Eh, I don't even have my potion. I think I just gotta get out of here. Okay, let's spend my souls. More FP. Let's kill some giant skeletons. I want to kill one and then come back here, because I want to see if they respawn. If they respawn, then what's the point of killing them? Oh, a mariner. This place is just full of bosses. Okay, well that should be an easy one.
Sorry. Health. Health ends steeple and death root. Don't fall now. I guess I'm safe here. Hellfen's steeple. It's a great sword. Ruinous ghost flame. That sounds cool. It's strength, dex, and int. Hmm. Only means 19 strength. Greatsword patterned after the black steeple of the Helfen, the lampwood which guides the dead of the spirit world. The lamplight is similar to Grace in appearance, only it is said that it can only be seen by those who met their death in battle. Ruinous Ghost Flame. Swing the sword to bathe its blade in Ghost Flame. The Ghost Flame adds magic damage to attacks and also has a bitterly cold bite. Okay, this thing sounds and looks amazing. I could two-hand that right now. How heavy is it? 11.5. I'd still be under medium load. Hmm. I think I want to upgrade that and try it. Or at least just try it, maybe before upgrading it. Wait, where are the skeletons? Oh, are they all summoned by the Mariner? I guess we did see the Mariner summon one before. And I guess here they're, they were responsible for all of them. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, let's go take on the Deathbird. Let's try Laser Beam. Nope. No, no. Okay, well, it did a respectable amount of damage. Whoa. That was a cool attack. Death Ritual Spear. Spear Call Rituals, it's special. It is also strength, dex, and int. And one that doesn't require that much strength. Ooh. More my thing. It, <laughs> it looks like you're meant to hang coats on it. Ritual Spear used by priests of old who are permitted to come among the Deathbirds. 
The priests became guardians of the birds through the rite of death, which also serves as an oath sworn to their distant resurrection. Spear call ritual. Thrust the spear high, bearing prayers into the sky to summon a downpour of spectral spears. That sounds amazing. Okay, let's look at this big sword special. And also just what it looks like in general. Normal, heavy, special. So that does extra magic damage, I think, and then also does cold. How much FP? A decent amount, but it seems to last for at least a little while. Looks incredibly cool. Looked it up on the wiki, it adds um, 80 frost and adds 50 magic damage. And it actually doesn't say this on the wiki, but I timed it. It lasts for 30 seconds. Let's try out the spear. So nasty looking. Let's do the special. I guess it's just a question of how much damage does that do? Is it chargeable? So that's just tapping it. What if I charge it? Hmm, feels like it's the same. Yeah, just gonna have to try those out on an actual enemy. Probably an upgraded form, because they're all gonna be terrible unupgraded. And then this just loops around to that loft, was it? Shack of the Lofty. Let's see if there's anything between the Snow Valley Ruins Overlook and here, where we've already been, the Freezing Lake. It looks like there might be something here. Oops, <laughs> I was already on my horse. Wait a minute. Judging by the messages, I'd say there's an invisible walkway. Item required ahead. Oh. So I need something. I just want to verify. I'll just, like, toss down a rainbow stone, maybe? I mean... Hmm... 
they just stop here. Try left. Maybe the item is just to be able to see what I'm actually walking on. I I mean, there is another way to get here, so maybe I shouldn't do this right now. This seems a bit too dangerous. I'm trying to think if there's an easy way, other than dropping a million stones. I can't think of one. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. Just a bunch of skeletons? I do want to mark this so I don't forget about it. Let's put, I don't know, treasure? Like, diamond? Sure. Let's use our bell bearings. We have the glove wart picker's bell bearing 2. Pretty irrelevant though. But we also have the smithing miner's bell bearing 3. Which allows me to buy up to smithing stone at 6, so we can get armaments up to plus 18. Nice. Let's get slightly more strength. And let's head towards the castle. The one in the north. That... Le what was her name? Lena? Liana? Latena. That Latena wants us to go to. I was going to save that for later, but yeah, it doesn't seem to be the critical path. Well, actually, wait, this point's over there. Hmm. Maybe that is important, but obviously going down here is important as well, since they all point down there. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to try out the new weapons. I got them up to plus... Whoa! What was that? got them up to plus four, which isn't very well upgraded, but it's as much as I'm comfortable going with them before I know whether I have any interest in using them. Oh, look at that tree down there. Having a Fulger Blooms. Are you going to be a jump on the top one? Oh, nope. Uh... It's coming down yet. Oh, 
Oh, now it is. Circling around futility. Okay. I'll take their word for it. Castle Soul Main Gate. Oh. Do I really want to fight you with this unupgraded or under upgraded weapon that I'm not familiar with? Well. Side of Grace is right there, and I have barely any souls on me, so sure, why not? of doing a fair amount of damage did like 800 and of course it would do more much more if it was upgraded further oh let's try using it just as a poker using this. Because it's a like great sword or yeah it's a great sword um i think it's able to kind of do a hit stun that or it's just a poise thing i'm not sure but yeah like it definitely staggers them it stopped them from casting and stuff whereas a smaller weapon does not so i really like that part that part's really cool i would love to be able to one hand it though then again, how important is the shield? Like, I blocked with it, and it did a fairly good job blocking. So that didn't do hit stun, but it seemed like the um, strong attack, especially like this, that does it. Like, if I jump and then do a strong.
seems like jumping's not important, it's just the fact that it is a strong attack is the important part. That makes it stun them. Definitely liking that more than the Pokey one. It is kind of annoying to have to top it up all the time. I thought 30 seconds was a long time, but now it doesn't feel like that long of a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like this sword. I think I will upgrade it further. Okay, now it's fully upgraded. I mean, like, as upgraded as I can possibly make it. Same as my wing of Estelle. Nah, I'm just gonna go back to this. <laughs> it's so much better. Just because of this ability. What the hell? Where'd you come from? You're half hurt? What? That Nebula ability, it's so good. I don't know if it's OP or everything else is UP. Where you pack? Oh, I need to rune up. There's a ladder up. Now ah, with the heck, let's go up. 
There's other stuff down there, but still. Explosive bolts, nasty. I wish I had that hidden body thing now. I mean, I do have it, but I don't have it on me. Sorcerer painting. See that beautiful moon in the sky? It's a bridge. Hmm. Sorcerer, that I think is this building in the background. That peak. Right there in the center. Hmm, maybe this is the bridge that's actually there that we can't see? Uh, is there a bridge near this? Not one on the map, so maybe it is, yeah. Okay, so we looped around. Wait. Which one did I come from? <laughs> I think I came from that one. Well, it also looks like there's just kind of a 
front entrance to something. But yeah, what's in here? Oh, Side of Grace up there. I saw the shinies. That door doesn't open from either side. Hmm. A little bit scared to go in there. That just falls down to the main area. So I think there's just in that room and then through the main entrance. And then I guess there's also this. What is this? No, did I hit you? I must have hit them. Probably because the comet penetrates through targets and hits others behind them. Oh, I actually don't have any healing left. sorcerer place. Let's also respawn the enemies because I need all my potions back. Oh great sun, frigid sun of soul, surrender yourself to the eclipse. Grant life to the soulless bones. Clips show tell.
It's a curved sword. It takes 30 faith. Storied sword and... Oh my god, look at how pretty that is. Storied sword and treasure of castle soul that depicts an eclipsed sun drained of color. One of the legendary armaments. You interrupt me when I'm trying to read a description, you're gonna get nebulous banned. In soul, the sight of an eclipse inspires a dreadful awe, preventing an onlooker from averting his gaze. Death Flare. Set the lusterless sun ablaze with the Prince of Death's flames, inflicting the death ailment upon foes. Follow up with an additional input to bring down the armament, triggering an explosion. That looks and sounds incredibly cool. It's a shame that none of these legendary armaments have really been things that work for me. I really feel like the Wing of Estelle should be a legendary armament, but it's not. Sure feels like it, though. I guess I saw a bow poking through. Didn't I just see it? Maybe that was a ghost of someone. Oh, wait a minute. Have I been here? I don't think I have, actually. Try right, but first off, talisman. <laughs> yeah, they know I'm here. Wow, their attacks are cool. Damn. I love the surprise of, oh, their back is facing me. They pull out their sword and go invisible. Oh, they're starting to patrol? No, they appear behind me. Maybe I'll fight you from here. really an amber medallion plus one i think that increases how much mana i get from potions oh no that raises my max fp hmm doesn't even do that much raises it by 16 I don't know, I just don't think 16 FP is really that valuable. I think I maybe have already been here. No, I don't remember rats. <laughs> oh, stomped on their head. Oh, 
I need to rune up again. Checking the tiers that we got a little while ago, we got another Cerulean Crystal tier. So that's just like the second Crimson Crystal tier. Just restores half of FP, and if I use both, I guess it would restore all of FP. And then we also got the Crimson Bubble tier, which restores HP when near death and mixed physic. So the effect lasts, um, I checked it out in the wiki, it lasts for three minutes. It only triggers once. If you get to 20% or less health, it will restore 30% of your health, I think. Or maybe the other way around. When you're at 30% health, it restores 20% of your health. One or the other. But it doesn't prevent your death. So if the damage you take would have killed you, it won't prevent that. Yeah, it's, hmm, it's not bad. I think I'd probably just prefer the Opaline Heart tier, though, just to temporarily boost all damage negation in Physic. Okay, so out this door, we went to the right. That's fully explored. Let's go forwards now. Be wary of sound. Okay, so be sneaky. Ambush. Oh, we got a boss. And is this a shortcut? I think it might be. Yeah, we've already been up here. To this level just below us. Oh, goes down there. So that's where the front entrance that I was thinking of goes. So I think... I guess it doesn't go anywhere. Let me just double check. Yeah, just leads to this. Which probably couldn't be operated from the bottom. So, turns out it's actually going the intended path. They tricked me. Hmm. Don't know what I'm gonna fight, but I'm gonna try the laser beam. Commander Niall. Hmm. 
Damn it. Oh, I got really close, though. Veteran's prosthesis. Yeah, I thought they were using like a foot blade. God, that was over so fast. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there's so many moves I didn't get to see because I got it down to like 25% health just from my laser beam of death. It is a fist weapon. Storm kick is the special. It does lightning damage. It just takes strength and dex. Bladed prosthetic leg enwreathed with the power of lightning, instead attached to the fist. Commander Niall, veteran of Castle Soul, offered this proth prosthesis in exchange for the lives of defeated knights held prisoner. He went on to lead these men as an army of no nation. Storm kick thrust the prosthetic leg blade into the ground, creating a storm. Follow up with a strong attack to perform a lightning infused jumping attack. I gotta try that. So cool. Let's get some more int. of the Halleck Tree Secret Medallion. Lord Mikella, forgive me. The sun has not been swallowed. Our prayers were lacking. Your comrade remains soulless. I will never set my eyes upon it now. Your divine Halleck Tree. So do I have the completed one now? Well, they're in two pieces, but I guess I just leave them like that. Yeah, I think you put them together to operate the lift. I was kind of expecting Latena to say something when we got here. They said something before we got here. And I don't think we can summon them. No, we can't summon anyone right now. Hmm. Well, now I have the medallion. I don't actually know where to use it yet. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode there. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, we're going to explore... Well, this is the last side of grace we found but there's some things that i missed off to the side like that 
building and that one. So I'm going to check those out. <laughs> 